Hi, I am Fidra Kutkat and today I am presenting the paper that is based on my bachelor thesis and was written in collaboration with Thomas Mandel and Stefan Dreisigner. Here the perception of students of an online information literacy training through a massive open online course was analyzed based on structured interviews. The background of the study and of the MOOC is that significant deficits in the information literacy skills of students have been identified in various studies and as a result there is a significant need to intensify information literacy training for students in order to promote information literacy in a sustainable and long-term way. One answer to this question are massive open online courses. These are freely available and have no entry barrier, so they are accessible to an unlimited number of participants. And accordingly, there are more and more MOOCs that focus on the promotion of information literacy skills. The Massive Open Online Course Information Literacy Online, or ILO, is an Erasmus project for the promotion of basic basic student competences and it addresses these information literacy deficits and this MOOC is freely available and has been translated into six languages and it is structured in six generic modules and can be completed as self-study without the presence of an instructor. Here is an overview of the six modules. The modules contain different disciplines that address the handling of information for example, the handling of group work is also explained in relation to the structuring and organization of information needs in the study. The MOOC also addresses the handling of information and the research and evaluation of information. In other words, what criteria should be considered when evaluating information. In addition, the use and sharing of found information in scientific work and on social networks is addressed as well. With the integrated quizzes and tasks, the students or users have the opportunity to practically test the knowledge from the MOOC and to evaluate themselves. For example, the users ask what the advantages of general search engines are. Here is a screenshot of a quiz from the MOOC in which the participants were asked why it is important to evaluate information. So here the participants have the, to reflect and apply their gained knowledge. The motivation for the study was to investigate how exactly the students as the target group actually perceive the content of the MOOC, since existing studies on information literacy courses primarily consider the content from the instructor's point of view. So in this context, more attention should be paid to the perception of the target group in order to adapt the content to the needs of the students and to promote exactly those aspects that the students might find difficult. And a better understanding could also show which parts require more didactical effort. As stated earlier, existing studies focus primarily on an instructor's or librarian's perspective. For example, one study examined the integration of online and information literacy instructions in university libraries in Mexico and they found that the development of these instructions in general is limited developed. Other study studies investigate how information literacy trainings affect the information literacy skills of students. One study evaluated the impact of an embedded online information literacy model in a first-year university business course and it was found that the source was significantly related to the student's success and in this context others indicated the flexible and self-directed learning, learning formats in particular had a positive impact. Another survey showed that participants of an online information literacy training were afterwards more confident of their information literacy skills than a comparison group taught in a traditional setting on campus. Only a few studies analyzed the students' perception. For example, one study examined undergraduate students' perception of multimodal media objects with surveys 
and it was found that multimodal media objects and communication tools in particular are necessary to promote the student's engagement. In another evaluation, students rated searching skills as useful for short or long research tasks. And at the same time, the recommendation was to make the units and quizzes shorter, which was also a result of our study. And uh, this was also the result of another study, which also found that students rated content on copyright, plagiarism, citing, evaluating resources and the type of information modules as relevant. Previous evaluations of the Information Literacy Online MOOC have had a similar focus, investigating the impact of information literacy training on students' information literacy skills and the user experience. For this purpose, standardized tests and questionnaires were used before and after completing the training and a significant increase in information literacy was found after completing the MOOC and the usability was also perceived positively. However, there was no further focus on the students' perception and their motivation, which now has now been realized in this study. The following four research questions were the basis for the study in order to examine how students perceive the online information literacy training through the MOOC. The first question is which is the perceived relevance of the contents of the MOOC? The second one is after completing the MOOC, do students see an added value in promoting and training information literacy? And the third one is how are the navigation the structure and the user interface of the MOOC perceived. And the last one, which contents of the MOOC should be improved from the participant's perspective. The aim was to cover the perception of the concrete content and the user interface and the structure and at the same time to collect suggestions for improvement. And the focus was mainly on the content which was evaluated by the students as more or less relevant. To address these research questions, uh, a qualitative research approach was chosen, a structured interview with the interview guide was used and 10 students from different study programs were interviewed between July and October 2019. These students studied international information management, social and organizational pedagogy, social work, economics as well as sports and chemistry and were either in the final year of the bachelor program or the first year of the master program. In the first step, an interview guide was developed and optimized into pre-tests. This was also divided into four general phases. And in the first phase, the students were introduced to the interview and the background of the study was explained. The second phase provided a further introduction with personal questions which were intended to promote the flow of speech. The following main phase contained the questions from the interview guide and on this basis the research questions were answered. And in the final phase of the interview guide, students were able to reflect on their answers and make possible additions. These are the 14 sections of the main phase, which included the understanding and added value of information literacy the relevance of the content and experienced difficulties. It also considered what content the students already knew. And furthermore, the navigation and the user interface were addressed and the uh, satisfaction with the information literacy training was considered as well. For the analysis, the interviews were first transcribed using the structure of the interview guide and then transferred to a template in the second step. In the last step, all results were summarized in one template in order to reduce the volume of data and to avoid redundancies. In addition, similar statements were summarized and step one and three formed the basis for the evaluation. Now on to the results. First, the content from the MOOC that the students rated as relevant. The students recognized a general added value after completing the MOOC and 
half of the students considered primarily the content on information searching and academic writing to be relevant. And furthermore, they emphasized the importance of early promotion of information literacy at the beginning of their studies. And at the same time, the students could particularly identify with the persona in the MOOC. And this is the persona Marco, which was integrated into the MOOC in different scenarios. He's a student and is on the same educational level as the students, which also help with the identification. Now to the content rated as less relevant. Um, on the other hand, content on social media and social networks was rated as less relevant, since the connection to information literacy was not clear here for everyone, as well as plagiarism, Boolean operators, stemming, citation constructions, and the visualization of information. In general, the students stated that this perception was due to their existing knowledge of these aspects and they were two students who did not rate any content as less relevant. When it comes to the perception of information literacy in general, the students had difficulties to give a concrete definition, but they were able to name topics that belong to information literacy. Here they mention, for example, information retrieval, formulating search queries or using scientific search engines, as well as filtering important information. And in this context, Jung said that due to the complexity, a concrete definition of the concept would not be necessary. Furthermore, the promotion of information literacy was perceived as relevant and MOOCs should be integrated into the studies. And they would be as well an added value for their professional career and also for daily life. There were also a few students who had difficulties with the navigation, which was otherwise generally clear and simple. And uh, the structure of the MOOC received mixed feedback and the videos and quizzes were perceived very positively. So in particular, the flexibility that one had through the MOOC was positively evaluated. The primary suggestion for improvement mentioned were that it is important to adapt the content to the target group, such as a specific course of study, and that the content should be compressed. Here it would depend on the context. Furthermore, some students had difficulties with the Boolean operators because they had no previous knowledge and the questions were too, dif too difficult. Another student had problems with the usability on the mobile phone. In summary, it became clear that most students perceived all content as relevant and only individual persons rated individual content as less relevant, which was partly due to the fact that this content had already been covered in the course of study especially the content on information search and scientific writing was rated as relevant, such as the introduction to bibliographic software. And as already mentioned, mainly the content on the use of social media was perceived as not very relevant. At the same time, some of the students said they would not complete the MOOC on voluntary basis which goes along with the findings of previous studies that identified problems with self-paced blended learning environments. The students expressed a need for more practical assignments and exercises within the MOOC and less theory to be integrated. In general, perception always depends on the individual background and previous knowledge. These are the opinions of individuals influenced primarily by content already covered in their studies. However, since this is a qualitative research design and a majority of students were from the same program and only 10 participants were interviewed, it is difficult to generalize the results. As a consequence, it would be interesting for the future to repeat the study in a quantitative research design with different information literacy trainings and to investigate 
the perception of more students from different programs and countries. Here are the references and thanks for the attention.